G'day everyone, Master Abbott here from CapsuleComputers.com.au Today I'll be reviewing Red Dead Redemption from Rockstar Games. As you can see, we're uh, with the main character here, John Marston, and he's in front of the saloon over at Armadillo, one of the places in the game. Now as you can see, um, I'm going to be running you through just basic gameplay, nothing too spectacular. We've already got, we've got the review on, the, on there already, so you should be reading that right now, and this is just like a little break. Now as you can see, we've got a control, uh, the control system on the Xbox at the moment, running around just with the left thumbstick. You can tap the A and it will, and uh, John will go for a bit of a bolt. You can uh, press the left uh, bumper and you can bring your weapon out, a specific type of weapons, a, like a knife. Swinging uh, with the right thumb, with the right trigger will actually make him attack. Put the put it put it back just to be on the safe side. You know you don't want to get in trouble inside because you know it works the same way as Grand Theft Auto, where you can attack people and if there's cops around or if there's people around, they'll attack you or you get a bounty and you don't want that to actually happen. Alright, so apart from that, we'll jump into the main menu. Now, basically the main menu here, by pressing the uh, start button, take you into the map. Now, the map is very, very good. Uh, you can see as, um, it's very, there's a lot to, lot to see, a lot to see and a lot, uh, lot to do over here in um, Red Dead Redemption. Now, you can zoom in and, for example, we're in Armadillo right now. And as you can see, there's a lot of things happening in there right there. So, you can see there's like a, sh a store, a general store. There's a stagecoach, which is the one like a taxi. That takes you around anywhere you want. And then you've also got places like guns, doctors, and also special places like... Um, random people which uh, I'll get to in a second so if for example you wanted to get to somewhere um, it works very very similar to Grand Theft Auto so for example if you take on an, uh, an outlaw uh, an, an outlaw um, contract where you can try and take someone out you can see that there's a red skull on the ground over there on the map now that red skull is uh, where the baddie is hiding and you can go pick him up and you can kill him and take him back or bring him back alive uh, now if you press on the A button it will find you the quicker, quickest route to get there as you can see right there like that so that's awesome uh, and if you like you just once you once you're out back out to the main menu for example you can see that down in the bottom part of the screen where the map is it's got like a little uh, way of how, how to get there and it's very very simple which is good it comes in handy uh, go back into the main menu as you can see you've got your weapons you can choose different type of weapons you've got your guns your revolvers your 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 repeaters, you got snipers, you got shotguns, you got all sorts of weapons there. You choose the specific weapon you want, and that'll appear in your little radial when you press it. You've also got outfits, which are really cool. Outfits are the ones, like for example, this one. He starts. You start this one off in the game. Then you've got other ones that you can unlock, and you get some. You get a few of them by using uh, by being a member of social club over on the website for Rockstar. Um, you can jump in and pick up a few things. Now here are some of them, for example, like the Treasure Hunter outfit. They won't just appear straight away. You've got to unlock certain things or do certain things in the game for them to appear. So it makes it very challenging. There's a lot of things you can actually do. So, that, for example, that was a Treasure Hunter outfit, and you can see that you've got to do a few things for them to unlock. And that's pretty cool. Then you've got the journal. The journal works the same way as Grand Theft Auto did. So, for example, you've got your notes, anything that happens during the game or during that session of the game while you're logged in. That will come up on the screen there. You've got challenges, which are fantastic, and this is something very brand new, and I really enjoy doing it. Um, they're like mini mini challenges, which you don't, you don't get achievements for. Some things, you, um, basically, for example, you've got a hunter. You got you can go, go out and hunt animals, and for example, the hunter achievement was fantastic. You can collect, like, for example, I'm on level rank 4 at the moment, where you can collect five boar tusks and three armadillo carcasses treasure hunter that I'll get through that in a second you got um survivalist and sharpshooter so all these are like little mini challenges within the game um, strangers for example you can uh, meet strangers along the game along the way in the game for instance they're like the random people you meet in Grand Theft Auto these guys give you things to do objectives to meet and uh, when you meet them they you know you get something for it you know you could get a bit of honor you might get a bit of um you know Renown, renown uh, you know, people will love you more. So pretty much, if you do that, you they, they, they will um, increase your, you know, your honor and your um, everything else in the game. For example, for your character. So that's pretty much it. You got options, and I'm not going to go through there. So uh, mu multiplayer, I'll go through later on, and that's pretty much it. Now, if we go back out. You've also got the um, your consumables and your kit provisions. Now, for example, these are like little extras that you can get in the game. For example, apples for for example will refill your horse's stamina. Bait will allow you to attract animals when you want to go hunting, and so forth. So you got your kit as well. Uh, for example, little things like this also help out. Like for instance, a rabbit foot will make you more lucky when you increase items when you know when you try and find them and when you're looting an, uh, people, um, and so forth. So you've also got campfire where you can make a campfire. 
wanted poster and for example treasure map so for instance a treasure map that uh, when you do there's nine treasures to collect in the game if you do you'll get a lot of honor and a lot of uh, love from everybody around you so for example as you can see this is like a treasure map location so for example they don't give you too much away you've got to try and figure that out yourself so for example you got to go out over here look there then go over here and then you follow it around and if you go down to three for example there's X marks the spot so it's really fun it's like nine of these to collect around the game and it's a lot of fun so that's pretty much it uh, as you know you can get around on taxi which is a stage coast or you can just push up on the controller and you call your trusty little steed and there he comes so here he comes let him run over to you if you want to jump on him all you got to do is press the Y and off you go so for example we can go down the track like that track that I made for example because we're going to go see the outlaw and along the way you know a lot of things can happen uh, and basically I do have to say that it's all randomized so you couldn't get anything you, you could have nothing approach you no one bother you all the way down but that's highly unlikely a lot of things happen along the way they could have people wanting assistance people wanting help people getting shot they might need you there could be a criminal running away and a, and a cops could be chasing him there could be someone who needs assistance for his friends gonna get hang, hung by a whole lot of outlaws and they might call you and you might have to go chase them if you get bored if you get bored you can attack uh, animals kill animals do your quests like that there's a lot of different things that's going on so for example look what's going on over here this guy he's telling you there you go so for example now this guy's run away so how about we go shoot this shoot this guy right now all right so he's dead Kill or capture the prisoners. So, for instance, you got to just check out the map where they all are. And uh, once you once you find them, there he is. There's one there. Once you've done that, you pretty much that's like a mission. There you go. So basically, like a little mission along the way. You'll get along fine here, son. Now get going. My pleasure, partner. And there you go. He just gave you five dollars, and you'll get a bit of. Um, bit of love so pretty much a bit of fame and a bit of honor so that's fantastic so that's pretty much it now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you out of this and take you into and show you a little bit of gameplay from multi free-for-all for example you start off in a shootout everyone looks at each other and uh, gives each other the bad eye and uh, then what you do is you line yourself up you go for it and then the person who wins pretty much just gets bragging rights a bit more experience and the multiplayer begins so let's let's line it let's I'm gonna do something different He got me, he got me. So that guy beat me. Oh well, what are you gonna do? And now basically the multiplayer begins from here. So you pretty much continue on. The guy who just did that will get the uh, happiness of being the last person who got the um, standoff. And multiplayer begins from here. So pretty much everything works the same way. You got your experience. You can get, um, you know, you pick up weapons along the way. Your score, your kills, your deaths. Everything like that, multiplayer happens um, pretty much simply, uh, not too complicated at all. So you've got all sorts of things along the side. You've got your journal, which works the same way, statistics and so forth. You've got um, weapons, and that works the same way too. You can also change your clothing, but you can do that when you're out of the game. So all that sort of stuff works the same way. So pretty much you pick up all different type of weapons. You can go into, for example, get them a repeater route. Aim for that guy over there. And take those guys out, you get your experience which appears down the bottom. So pretty much make sure you hide, don't let them kill you. And that's it, that's multiplayer. Multiplayer is pretty fun, you know, it's not like it's boring. Make sure this guy doesn't get you. And good, nice little headshot. Multiplayer is fun, I gotta tell ya. It's not too complicated. Once you have the right weapons, you know, you, can, you can't really go wrong. There's another guy over there, he's right in the corner up there. You gotta get yourself a good location, and then once you get a good location, you can get yourself in the lead. There's lots of different achievements you can do for online as well. You gotta pretty much win, a, you gotta win three matches in a row. If you can win three matches in a row, you can get an achievement as well. Um, you can do a whole lot of different things. So pretty much, that's it. 
Um, I'm going to say goodbye for now. Thanks for, thanks for watching the uh, video review and enjoy the rest of the written review from capsulecomputers.com.au. Master Rabbit signing out.